Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. What if I tell you that you can actually do speech transcription the same way you do NLP with Hugging Face Transformers? Yes, that is a reality that Hugging Face Transformers latest update has got. In the latest Transformers update, Hugging Face has added uh, the very popular Facebook AS model Wave 2 Wick. So Wave 2 Wick lets you, or at least I should say that the Hugging Face APA of Wave 2 Wick lets you just give an audio file and then get a transcripted English transcription out of it. So currently, as far as I know, this model works fine for English, but I don't know whether there is any other language that is available for this thing. So let's quickly go ahead and then see how we can do speech transcription with Hugging Face Transformers model. The first step that you have to do is, I'm, and, and uh, to give you a little bit more context, I have not even switched on my um, GPU environment. Uh, GPU um, environment. So I'm going to do this on CPU and you would actually see on live how much is the uh, speed that is uh, required for this thing. And uh, I'm going to use a very popular line from Batman for this uh, recording. And let me play that for you. So when I play this, you would be able to hear it. Live long enough to see yourself become the villain. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. The audio transcript uh, or audio file that we are going to transcript and probably everyone knows this line by heart. So the first step that we have to do is we have to install Hugging Face Transformers library. So pip install the Transformers library. Once you install that library, uh, we are going to use Librosa for uh, the managing the audio file, extracting audio file and then Torch, um, PyTorch and then we have we have we need two uh, classes from uh, transformers one is wave 2 vec 2 for ctc and wave 2 vec 2 tokenizer so as you can see on the hugging face page it says wave 2 vec 2 model was trained using um, ctc connectionless temporal classification so the model output has to be decoded with uh, wave 2 uh, wave 2 vec 2 tokenizer and that's what we are going to do so let's look at step one by one. The first step is to download the pre-trained models. So let's download pre-trained models. So let's download pre-trained models. And uh, you can see that the models have been downloaded. So the other thing probably we need to know here is the audio file or uh, the pre-trained model that we have downloaded here uses uh, 16,000 uh, hertz. So the audio file that we need has to be sampled to 16,000 hertz. So that's one thing. So in this case, I've actually used Audacity to convert that audio file to 16,000 hertz. So it's there and otherwise you would need a little bit more computation power to convert or resample it. So you can use any tool that you have got um, on your machine to convert it. Even uh, that could be, you know, any online tool where you could convert an audio file from one format to another format. So in this case, I have just already converted it. So I don't have any problem. So I'm going to load the audio file here using librosa.load and then the file name and I'm saying that my sample rate should be 16,000 hertz. So this is put into speech and rate and rate would have the rate of it. Next, I'm just previewing the audio file uh, like I previewed before. So in case if you want one time last. Long enough to see yourself become the villain line and you could see that there is a little bit of background uh, music as well and uh, we are trying to download that so the next thing that we need is uh, we need to we need to take input values so input values is equal to tokenizer we are passing on this audio file that we got here the speech in this case to the tokenizer and uh, we are saying that we want the tensors to be in pytorch format so let's run this Speech is not available. I'm sorry, I have not run this. Then rate is 16,000. Cool. And then let's run this. Now, um, like I said, we are telling it to give us the uh, tensors in the PyTorch format. Now you can actually see the tensors. And now what we are getting is we are trying to get the logits, uh, which is the non normalized predicted values. So, in a typical multi class classification problem, so you would get uh, the value. So, if I if I just uh, print logits, you would probably see the non-normalized values. And from this, what we can actually do is we can pass it on to a softmax and then we can actually get the predicted values. And this predicted ID, which is not required probably. And from this uh, predicted IDs, we are going to now pass it on to the tokenizer decode. And then we are going to get the transcriptions. The same thing that they have mentioned here. So after all, we do all these things, we have to pass it on to the tokenizer decode 
and then we are going to get the transcription out of it. So let me first tokenize it and then now print it. And you can see that it says you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So it has exactly man match the text, uh, the audio, and then it has given you the transcript. And that is the beauty of wave to wake And uh, actually, to be honest, it has been made much, much simpler. And thanks to Hugging Face for including this in the Transformers library. Now, you don't need to actually wonder how to do this or what to do this thing. You can simply, simply use... I think how many lines we have done. So we have done probably um, one one uh, cell for uh, downloading uh, the model. So like one tokenizer, one model, uh, two lines of code, and then reading the file, three lines of the code. And then we have like in less than 10 lines of the code, we have actually successfully built a speech transcript uh, uh, for English language using a pre-trained model and I would like to also highlight the fact that now if you actually listen to this audio or if you are familiar with the movie Dark Knight you would have probably seen this this uh, being uh, said by uh, Batman uh, Batman's voice but when I tried with Batman's voice or uh, the the heavy voice it didn't actually transcript properly so this is a voice from Harvey Dent so this is slightly uh, clearer than Batman's voice and that is another thing and while you while we have you know successfully tried on Google collab but if you don't want to try it on Google collab you can also try it on Hugging Face um, Hugging Face own website where they've got models and then you can try so for example here you can go and then look for wave 2 wave 2 and then click it and then you can actually select the speech that you want or if you don't want to pick anything you can pick a sample audio so let's pick the sample audio and speaking to damp audiences before he had time to answer a much encumbered vera burst into the room with the question i say can yeah now let's see if this transcript so like i said you can either use it on collab or you can even do it on your own machine and in fact for that matter i didn't even use the gpu or anything but uh, uh, let's see in this case what happens or it also lets you record from browser which we can also try so let's select speech 2 and then say compute and this is using hugging face uh, api so you can actually see the api's pricing on their website if you want to use it for commercial purpose you can use it before he had the time to answer a much uh, encumbered burst into the room so you can see that it is it is you know getting so let's finally try record from browser once So click. let me see, let me see how is it happening. Okay, I think probably due to um, permissions, uh, my record from browser is not working fine. So let me try once again. Let me try from my browser. Let me try from my browser. And when I try this thing, it's okay. In my Indian accent, it says, let me try from my browser. So I would still give it a good rating that it is doing a very good job where you can um, you can add uh, any audio and then get this preach transcript. Now the possibilities are actually endless. For example, now that you, you can actually use Hugging Face Transformer and the API is similar, what you can simply do is you can build a streamlit application. Probably we'll do it in a couple of, uh, uh, upcoming videos where we can build a streamlit application and then just put this pre-trained model over there and then simply give upload any audio file and then get it translated and like i said i didn't even switch on my gpu it's still cpu and then you can see that how fast it has happened so it's really a great thing and then once again thanks so much for um, hugging fist for making this available uh, making this model available on transformers library which has already been um, heavily used in the nlp world and having having such a speech transcript model within part of the same ecosystem makes it much much easier for anyone to leverage this thing if you want to try this out i would uh, link this uh, google collab notebook on 
as part of the youtube description please check it out in the description and then try try out your own audio and then let me know in the comment section how did it go if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope you find this video helpful and uh, uh, please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not shared this video with others so that they can get started with this project let's uh, share the knowledge and then um, share the values of open source so take care of yourself until next video see you